Look at there's nothing left. Oh, it's just all dead and dry. Hello everyone, Alchemist here, and welcome back to Timberborn. On the last episode, we started blowing up the mega reservoir over here, just so we can get a ton more water stored up when those when those wet seasons come. We also left off on the start of this crazy, crazy long drought right here. I think it was 29 days. Our longest up to this point was 23 days. And we barely even made it through that, so I'm a little bit worried for this drought here. We're going to have to maybe do a couple things to make sure we make it all the way through and don't lose any beavers in the process. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to get some more water pumps in. Just because we want to get as much water sucked up out of our reservoirs as we can and into these barrels. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start clearing out a little bit of this, I think. Just so we can get a couple more pumps along this edge. And you know what? If I put some platforms too, I think I could probably... Get a couple more pumps as well. Let me see. Yeah, so I could put another pump there. Oh, that's perfect. I can sneak a pump there and then two more right there. Nice. And of course, as everything in this game, you high prioritize it all. That's how it works. Come on. I also think we should probably get a couple more pumps down on this ledge down here. Uh, that one's blocked. That one will block off this path. So if I just put a couple platforms, I think I can put them there. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. And then we can put another platform right here. Get one last one. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. I also think to prepare for this drought, we're going to want to be able to use this water in the back right here. And right now, we can't even access it. Because as soon as it drops below a tile, there's this patch of water back here that we can't even use. So I think if I just kind of high prioritize like some of these right here, we can at least just get a little channel for them for the water to sneak through. And I'll have to put it under this path once they place these down. But yeah, once we get a little channel here, I can at least use that extra tiny little bit of water as well, which should be good. Ah, oh, dang it. So I tried to make it so that way just this path could reach this whole back part, but it's not going to work. We're going to have to place these back couple right here with this path first, and then we can do this middle part to connect it through. So let me just high prioritize these back ones. We'll get those done once they place those down. Then I can remove the path and get this little channel to connect these. Alright, this kind of stinks. Let me tell you what I've been thinking here. So, basically, I really wanted to use this whole area down here for greenery. For plants and trees and whatever we wanted down there. Because there's not a ton of green usable space. Like, we got like a little bit along here. Oh, wow, that's crazy. And there's like some down here now, but we'll probably end up using that too. But we just need more space for greenery. So, I didn't want to have to flood this area and use it all for water storage. But I think we're going to have to do it. I think we're going to have to do it. And it looks very, very promising. Because if you look right here, we have like, what is that, three or four tiles worth right here of uh, height. So if I literally just raise this back levee, this one right here, this back levee, one taller, and then just put a levee along this wall, we could store this whole area worth of water right here. So I think we're going to have to do it. All right, let's do it. So to start it off, I'm going to have them delete a couple of these trees over here. So we can get a levee in along this wall, and I'll start placing it in now. And this whole floodgate is going to go to waste, of course, but that's fine. That's fine. Well, we can we can at least, because in Update 3, we can at least get some of our resources back, which is cool. Alright, is that the right height? Yeah, that looks like the right height. So yeah, once they clear out these, then I will finish it off over there. Alright, now I'm going to have to do this back layer of this levee to hold in this side. So let me start deleting some of these paths, and I'll place those down. I'm perfect. While it's nighttime and there's nobody up here, I'm going to have to redo this little front area as well. Because we don't want to strand anybody up, up there, so we'll do this part now. I think if I just delete a couple of these, I can get these levees in, and then we'll back up the staircase by one. There we go. And then just get a staircase down on this side. There we go. Perfect. And then we're definitely going to want to high-prioritize this. So that way they finish it all up and we can get more people cutting trees as soon as possible. Uh, do we have planks over here, actually? Okay, we do. Good, thanks. Thank goodness we have planks over here. And there's more in here as well. Nice. Alright, and then I can lay out the rest of these. So I'll get that back part laid out. And I'm not going to delete these dams yet because right now the water is stored behind them. So once this water drains out a little bit, then I'll do this last back part over here. And this little area right here, actually, where there's bridges, I don't even know why I put this levee here. I mean, it's kind of pointless. I could have literally just backed up there and saved a bunch of wood, but, you know, that's way too smart for the alchemist brain, of course. 
So I think if I just... Uh, actually, no, I won't do that. I think if I just delete this one, I can at least just put a staircase in. There we go. So we won't waste this bridge, at least. That's cool. And then we'll get some paths along the top. Connect everything up so that they can work on it. Alright, we're going to have to put a district gate in, too. Uh, I guess I'll just have to put the district gate in over here. Yeah, and then that'll let me connect up to this side. There we go. I'm probably going to have this district just kind of build most of this because they have a ton of wood right here. And our other beavers on this district are focused on a very large task over here. So yeah, we'll have this district work on it. So they're going to have to get up there as well. So let me throw a little, maybe a staircase in right here with a couple paths going along the top. There we go. Nice. I almost forgot to put dams along here. I was thinking about putting floodgates in to kind of future-proof, but eh, I don't know if we're going to do it. We probably won't be expanding down here for at least a little while. So, yeah, we'll just put the dams in for now. Alright, well, this can go. We're not going to need that. I think these trees are almost grown. Oh, they're 31%. So, we'll, we'll leave this forester here for now, just so that way they can cut down the trees that are here. Maybe before it floods? We'll see. Keep it paused, though, for the time being. But I'll get rid of that, because we're not going to be wanting to plant any more trees. And this one can go, too. At least once we flood this whole area, I can at least probably put some aquatic farmhouses to at least use some of this land. And yeah, that'll be pretty cool, I guess. Alright, so they got a ton of work to do over here. Look at all that. That's going to be a, quite a project. And I didn't even finish putting off this black wall yet, because they're still clearing out those trees. But I am going to have to block off over here somewhere as well. Um, where do I want to do that? You know, I could probably even put it, like, back here. I know it doesn't really make any sense, but all the more water, the better. So, yeah, I'm going to do it. Whatever. Might as well. I'll just put the levees, like, down here. Cool. That looks good. Yeah, this is cool. They'll be able to store water. It'll just go right under all these buildings as well. And that is at the right height. Yeah, perfect. All right. And our last little beaver friend, he has finished this little cut through right here. So, I'm going to blow this up while nobody's around. Alright, good. So now we at least have this extra little bit of water, too, that can now flow all the way down. Because we're probably going to need it. We're probably going to need it. Yeah, 22 days in, and we're already down to our emergency water supply. So I'm actually going to have to start letting some of this through as well. Okay, so we got all that basic stuff in. They finished off these part of the pumps. We got the levees in. We got the little connector in. So we're like, as good as we can possibly be, I think, for this next drought to come. Uh, we're going to have to see... Still a little scary. Maybe... You know what I think I should do, actually? If I go to storage, we have we can make these large tanks. And we have some metal. And we really have nothing to use it on. So I think we get some of these large tanks. Yeah, let's do it. I think we could put them up here. This might not be a bad spot for them. So we'll get them to build those up. And it'll help because it'll at least get the water out of the reservoir. Because all our barrels are already kind of full. And all these pumpers are filled up with people, too. Just working hard. So we might as well get the water stored somewhere. And, of course, I prioritize everything. All right. Also, since we're losing all this, we're going to need to replant some things somewhere. Because our food is still about that 6.3k mark. And it's been just kind of based right around there. But we're going to want to get more beavers sooner than later. Like, as soon as we get this water up and get our kind of water figured out and sorted, I'm going to want more beavers. Because we still got plenty of buildings we're going to want worked. So, I was thinking, like, where we should even build. And, honestly, there's not much decent area like over here would be decent but it's pretty far away to get to i think the next best area and the next easiest kind of area to get to is maybe like over here so what i was thinking is i could get like maybe just a staircase like up behind this forester over here and then we'll kind of figure out some way to plant some crops over here i have a little idea in mind like i said we're just in the search for green area and we have this whole area down here so I think we might as well start planting some stuff. Maybe like a forester over here. If I put one like over here somewhere, he can reach a lot of this. And I think if I just put like a staircase going down, he will be able to reach this bottom part as well. Oh yeah, look at that. So he can reach this whole thing. So yeah, I'll start laying down some trees to get planted. Alright, so we got all those placed down. I'm sure I'm going to move this stuff eventually and I'll eventually put trees here as well. But we'll just keep it here for the time being, because we kind of need all that stuff. Alright, so I got that little laid out over there to get across this gap. And I got this path, just so they can clear out these trees. 
And what I think I'm going to plant on this top level is dandelions, because we're really going to need the dandelions, because our beavers just keep getting injured, and we're kind of already getting low on meds. If you look at these, like, they're not even all full all the time. So we're probably going to want another healer as well, but we're going to need more dandelions also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a forester, like, right here. So he can reach this whole part and plant all the dandelions. And then this one down here, once I... Because once, once they plant the dandelions, you don't need a forester anymore. You can just delete it. Because once they're down, they're down. You don't need to replant them. So yeah, once they plant this whole top area, I can delete this forester. And then I can have this bottom one just replant this little space where it's missing. And that'll be perfect. And yeah, our medicine barrel has always been empty. Because this healer's just been working non-stop. So I think we got to get another one down. I guess we can probably just sneak it in like over here for now. Yeah, that'll be fine. And these poor beavers down at this district are working like a bunch of dogs. It's not beavers, they're working like dogs. So we should probably get a builder's hut in for them. And we'll just temporarily put it there, whatever. It's so ugly, but we're going to redo this whole area. And then maybe another lodge, and we'll send a couple more beavers over to work in this builder's hut. Just so they can help them place all this down. So they're making good progress, but they still got a ways to go. I was sitting here trying to figure out where I want to put this gatherer flag. Like, there's not really any spots that'll reach, like, this whole piece. But I was like, oh, wait, I have the ladder mod. I might as well use it. So I think if I just put it right here, and I can just put some ladders going up. Yeah, sure, it sounds fine. There we go. All right, 17 and a half days into the drought, and our backup reservoir here is empty. And we have reached our backup water pumps again. So I think we're going to have to start letting some more water through. We'll just drain it out of the big reservoir now. We're already getting pretty low. So we'll probably get rid of this top tile and we'll see how we go from there. We emptied out that whole top layer and our pumps are barely touching. The nozzles are like, just barely touching. Jesus. I guess we're going to let out a little bit more. I don't overflow. Oh, we're overflowing. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a waste. Get back in there. Get back in there. We need all that water we can get. Get in there. All right, so now that we have kind of cleaned up this area and reached our way down over here, we're going to see what we got next. I think there's a way we can hydrate a good bit of this area right here. And what it's going to take is these water dumps right here. I think if I just kind of blow out a little hole, somewhere right in the middle, that looks about the middle, or maybe I can even back it up one. We'll put it like right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this path with a water dump once they blow up this. And then all that will do is I'm going to have one little hole here. And this water dump, beavers are going to lug water over, put it into the water dump, and then somebody's going to work in here and just keep filling this one tile with water. Which will at least hydrate a good bit of this area over here. So at least we can plant some more crops down here. That's the goal at least. We'll have to see how that works in practice. But uh, yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. So, yeah, they, they cleared out the rest of that scrap metal that was over here. So, I can start getting rid of these and put them to work somewhere else. But that means we're going to have to start accessing this over here if we want some metal. Which, luckily, we don't really need metal that much. Like, the Folktales faction, like, really doesn't use metal for a ton of things. I mean, like, I think you need it to, like, build up the explosive factories and, like, these barrels. And there's a couple other, like, late game things that you need it for. But, uh... We probably won't do that yet. We'll, we'll get to that, though, when we need it. Okay, and our beaver friend over here finally places dynamite. So if I blow this up, and I put in a water dump right there, this should put a little bit of water in that one tile. And we'll see how much this kind of makes this area green. It should be a good bit, though. And now that they planted those dandelions up top, I'm going to have them start clearing out all these... So I just totally realized that we are going to need pumps because once this whole area floods, all these pumps are going to be underwater. So we need to find a way to pump more water. Uh, and I think we're going to want to put it like up here somewhere. I don't know. I'm trying to like think of like a good spot to put it so it doesn't look completely ugly. So what I think I'm going to do is like these couple layers right here, we will have platforms with the pumps on top of them and the path will run along this back layer right there. That sounds good, I think. Alright, so they finished clearing out this little space over here. So now we get to start planning this out. If I do some platforms along here... I think this is four tall, right? Yeah, it is. And then we'll get the pumps on the top. Like that, with the path running along. 
And then I kind of did this because that way once we do get terraforming kind of things set up, we can have like a nice, we can fill this in and make it a nice kind of square grid. That'll be cool. But yeah, that's decent right there. That's going to take them a while to get built up. And we do want to get it built up sooner than later so we can pump some water once these all get flooded. Oh, and look at that. They finished this area over here. All right. So they, they built the uh, water dump, and they filled in that little cube of water. So we have a good little area here to start planting some more crops. What should we put here is the question, though. And I was thinking we probably would want to get wheat set up, because that's, like, really the only crop that we don't have. We don't have wheat or cattails. Both of those require uh, a gristmill and a, and a bakery. So, that would take a good amount to set up. Take a lot of wood and stuff that we don't really have either. But I think we should do that. Because that will get another some more well-being for our beavers. And that will get us some more food, which we kind of need right now pretty badly. All I'm thinking about that, I might as well just kind of fill in this area. Because this is all green now. So, I might as well just plant some more trees down here. Uh, we'll switch these over to maples. How far did that reach? Got another two. Perfecto. Yes, look at that. And I've been meaning to do this for so long, I just never did. No time like the present. We are going to switch all these to maples. So, once I once they kind of grow these up, I already deselect them, so they won't replant the pines over here. So, as they slowly kind of cut down these trees, I will just keep marking them as maple trees. We will get a farmhouse in here. I still don't totally know what I want them to plant yet. <laughs> like, wheat is the next thing we need, but it does take a little bit to set up. Alright, screw it. We're going to put the wheat here. It'll be fine. Because we do have plenty of time until all of these actually grow up anyways and we have to harvest them. So we'll just let them kind of start getting to work on these. And then once they are ready, we will get down the grist mill and all that other infrastructure kind of things. Alright. Eight and a half days left, and our water down here is completely dried up. Our barrels are pretty full, though. And I'm kind of hesitant to empty this down to the bottom part, because I want to save it for our plants down here. So I think we'll just pause up these and see if we can make it through the rest of the drought with just the water in our barrels. I'm going to have to keep a close eye, but I think we'll be okay. I hope. My fingers are literally crossed right now. Oh, this is draining way faster than I thought it would. What was it? Eight point something days? We're at seven days? Oh, they already got rid of two barrels. This is scary. I think we're going to have to start pumping more. Yeah, alright, we're going to have to start pumping more. Just to be safe. Because the food, we have plenty of food stocked up. So if this dries up, it's not as bad as if our water dries up. So yeah, I'm going to drain this out. We'll get more pumpers online. Get them just sucking up this last bit of water we got. Okay, so the reservoir is completely empty. All the water we have left is right in here. And then our storage is... Six days, it's getting scary. Oh, thank goodness, these trees down here grew. That's amazing, because we're just so freaking low in wood. Twelve right now, like, what the heck? I really I really need to get this dam finished up before this drought ends, and I want to get all these pumps finished up. Oh, there's just so much going on all at once, I don't like it. I'm, like, having a heart attack already, it's just stressing me out. Alright, 1.9 days. About 400 water, not even. 350 water. 1.8 days. Oh, I might have to freaking delete this and let all this water flow through. Because I think crops will last two days before they dry up. And we're at 1.8. So yeah, if I get rid of this now, all this water should flow through. We'll get a little bit more water for them to drink and our crops should still stay hydrated. Oh, uh, jeez. This is stressing me out. I don't like this at all. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Let the water through. Okay, all that water's gone, and it just got pumped up instantly. Oh, jeez. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. So we got two days, and we're, the drought ends in 1.5. So none of our crops should dry out. I think the trees last even longer. Yeah, they last 15 days before drying out. Okay, that's good at least. But, oh, jeez, this is cutting it way too close. <laughs> Look at this, nothing left. Oh, it's just all dead and dry. 
Tiny little bit of green over here. Tiny bit of green right there. That's it. Jesus, man. I can't really get to this water easy. There's no really possible way for me to get to this water. I could tear down this whole levee wall and put pumps. I don't even think it's worth it, though. We're just going to go for it. We're just going to try to go for it. Well, I guess on the bright side, they finished this half of our pumps. And I left this little slice in the middle here because I'm going to have a staircase going down. And this should be pretty cool how I'm going to lay out our next tier. Because basically, I'll put another tier of pumps two layers down from here. I'll show you that in a little bit, but I won't put it down yet because I do not want them to build it yet. We need to focus on a ton of other things first. All right, and I'm doing it. I'm tearing down the rest of these levees. I'm sick of looking at them. Stupid levees. Oh, look at all those logs. Oh, we need all of those logs. Somebody come get these, please. Tear down all these, too. Let's do it. We'll put this forest over here. And prioritize those. And then we're getting rid of these. Okay, I'll leave this path just for them to get up for now. But all that's chopped down. And they should be able to come over here and get all these logs, pick them up, and build some stuff with them. This is cutting it way too close. This is like... I I have anxiety right now. Like, my heart is actually beating fast. This is awful. <laughs> we have barely any water. They're just about barely to finish up this. Only half of these pumps are made. This half is not made. I... Uh, I'm stressing out. I don't like this at all. I'm drinking coffee, which is not helping either. That's just making my heart beat even faster. This is terrible. And they've been taking forever to finish this, which is stressing me out even more. What the heck? Oh. Okay, I guess potatoes dry out quicker than carrots do. But some of the potatoes are dead. Still have 5.8k food. So we're alright. We're doing alright. 0.4 days left. We're gonna have to see. Oh my goodness. Look at the last one water... The last one drop of water. And the drought has ended. Oh my goodness. We literally made that by with one water left. Holy crap. That is way too close. I don't know how the heck we just managed that. But we, we somehow did it. That was insane. Holy crap. This water flow. Now please go. And look at that. They just finished up the, the dam too. Which is sweet. So we can store this whole area full of water now. This is amazing. I'm going to start unpausing some of these. Because this part should fill up pretty quickly. Look at it go. Because yeah, we have the two sources filling it up. So this should fill up really, really quickly. And all these are getting built just in time as well. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll just kind of unpause these two. And they'll just keep slowly moving their way up. As they, they pumped a cup of water from there, now they're pumping water from here. And as this fills up, it'll slowly, they'll move to there. Oh my goodness, that was far too close. Like, we literally had one water left. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Alright, this is the next scary part. Where we get from when these pumps are offline to when these pumps can finally start working. Should be pretty quick, because like I said, we do have the two water sources just filling them up. But it might take a little bit. I can start planning out this next tier, which I'll start doing now. So check this out. This is pretty cool. If I put these pumps like this way, they fit like perfectly in line. Like their nozzles are touching. And this is perfect. Because as soon as the water level drops below these pumps, then these pumps will kick on. So we have those two. And then as soon as like if the water ever drops below these two pumps, then all these down here will kick on. This is like the perfect setup. This is, makes my brain so happy. And then we'll just get a staircase going down the middle with some paths connecting to all these. Here we go. And I'll do this side once they finish clearing out all this junk. That's a nice little water system we got there. That should keep our beaver's thirst quenched for a very long time. And we should never run into this craziness ever again, I hope. We'll have to see, though. Okay, thank goodness. These pumps have finally reached. Like, just barely, but they reached... So we can at least pump some water. We have some thirsty guys, and that's only because it's nighttime right now, and these guys aren't working. But we will have water by the next day, and everyone should be fine overnight, I hope. Come drink, my beaver friends. Drink. Drink up. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, we did pretty good. We survived. I mean, we did pretty bad, but we're alive, at least. We are alive, in fact. I don't know how, but we're alive. 
I cannot believe it. This drought. What were we in here? Like 28 days or something at the beginning of this episode? They haven't even finished placing all this dynamite yet? It's insane. I mean, I have had them working on other things. So we do have a lot of dynamite stocked up. But they just haven't been placing it because they've been working like a bunch of dogs. Oh, look how beautiful this is. That is so much water. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Wow. This is amazing. It really is. We haven't even overflowed yet. We're getting close. But we have not overflowed yet. I love how they just run underwater. Like, what the heck? They don't even, they don't even swim or anything. They're just literally running on the bottom of the water here. That's just great. We love that. Makes sense. Yep. And look at that. That's the start of another drought already. Okay. We haven't even done anything. Like, we have, like, no water sucked up or nothing. Yep. That's just wonderful. That's so great. We absolutely love that. It's been, like, a couple days. Like, not even. I'm going to check and put it in the editing how many days it's been. It's been, like, very short. Like, maybe, like, five days or so. And the next drought is already here. That's just wonderful. We love that. We absolutely love that. Thank you, game, for being so kind. Freaking jerks. Alright, everybody. That's the start of a new drought. 27 days. I mean, the last one was, I think, 29 days. And we made it through that. So, we should be fine, because we have a lot more water. I think we'll be better on this one. Look how much progress we made in this episode. We built this whole levee over here. We got this whole thing filled up with water. That's so much water stored up. This is amazing. We're getting some more food going. We're starting to redo some of those areas. We'll figure out something like that. We got some more trees planted. And I cannot believe it. We have not finished this yet. This has taken them so long to do. We have a ton of explosives in stock now. So, now that they're done building all this craziness... But I am going to have to end the episode there. And I just want to say thank you to anyone who has watched this whole series from the beginning to the start. I just started my channel recently. And the and I just rewatched some of the first videos. They were awful. They sounded awful. They were just awful. So if you have stuck it out and are watching and have watched this whole series all the way through, thank you very much. And let me know in the comments if you have. But thank you guys very much. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.